Before starting your Kaiser indoor cycling class, it's important that we have our riders set up correctly on the bike. Buddy is here to give us an example of how to correctly set him up before he starts a class. So I'm going to have Buddy just step forward. We have four points that we are using for our reference in terms of setup. We have seat height, we have fore and aft where the saddle moves back and forth, we have handlebar height, and then the fore and aft from the handlebar. That way we can adjust for the best position we can for the rider. First thing we want to do is establish the seat height. So I'm going to have Buddy just to bring his leg up, and we're going to check and see if we have the saddle somewhat parallel to the top of the slide. Once he's on the bike and riding, we'll be able to make some adjustments if we need to. So that's the first thing, seat height. You can drop your leg down, looks pretty good. To adjust that, we have a turn knob. I can release it and then slide it back and forth into position. Next thing you want to do is make sure that the handlebars are actually higher than the seat height. So if we take a point and just have a quick, uh, quick look at that, we can establish whether they are higher or not. Someone who's a new rider may like their handlebars to be a bit higher, just to, um, just to manage that forward flexion position. So handlebars, seat height are established. So then I'm going to get Buddy just to hop on. And I'm going to ask him now to just place his feet in the cages. We want to have the widest part of the foot across the pedal. We can tighten them up once we establish where that position will be. Excellent. And you can see Buddy's just threading through the end position of the strap. Hands should be in either an overhand grip or the grip position that you most often ride in. So a new rider may be in an overhand position near here, or we can go into what we call our second position. From here, I'm going to get Buddy to actually start pedaling a little bit. And what I'm looking for as he's pedaling is to bring that foot down to the 6 o'clock or the bottom part position, so the crank arms are down, and I'm looking to see that there's a slight bend in the knee that the leg is not too extended or there's not too much of a, of a bend. So we're looking for that slight bend. So I'm going to get you to pedal again. And now I'm going to check for the fore and aft position. So I'm going to ask Buddy now to bring his pedals so that they're parallel. In the parallel position, we can bring the gear shifter up to the top. What I want to look for is the alignment from the front of the knee to the widest part of the foot or where that crank arm and the pedal meet. So from a plumb line position, as buddies can look down and see, do I have a straight line that's coming from the front of the knee intersecting across the widest part of the foot? If I could see a lot of the foot, so say just shift back just to show for a demonstration, you could see that that plumb line would hit closer to the ankle, meaning that I would need to move my saddle forward. Or, just as an example, if the knee was coming past the toe, then we know that we would want to shift the saddle back. All right, so let's go back into your riding position. We can have a quick look. Again, parallel pedals, bringing that forward again. Good, and holding it there, checking for that alignment. Looks pretty good. Your angle looks really good. Okay, excellent. And now we can just start and just pedal again. And I just want to check one more thing, is I want to check where the fore and aft position is of the handlebars. So when we're in the riding position, we just want to have a slight bend in the knee, in the knee, <laughs> slight bend in the elbow, opening up across the collarbones, and then hinging from the hips and finding that comfortable grip. We don't want to be overextending. We don't want to be too tight into position. So we have adjusted, I think we'll just adjust you slightly forward. You have a little bit of room to go, so let's try that. So slide it forward, make sure it's nice and secure and then you can start pedaling again. How does that feel? Good. So once the rider ha is set up, we just try it out for a little bit, see how it feels. If we have to make any other adjustments, we can do that during the warm-up or any time of the class. That's our Kaiser Indoor Cycling Quick Start Setup.